Hey guys, welcome to the 64, uh, episode one, season one. Uh, this is my first year in beekeeping. Uh, have a couple people uh, that have inspired me uh, to become a beekeeper um, and to uh, do this uh, daily log of when uh, I go out and work the bees. And so the bees are coming uh, in three days. Uh, so I'm gonna head down to the land uh, either tomorrow or the next day, I need to get a couple things done uh, before we get those bees on uh, on Friday, May the first. So uh, the first the first uh, video blogger uh, beekeeper that inspired me uh, was a was a man by the name of uh, Ian Stepler. Uh, he he has a Canadian uh, beekeeper's blog. He's a commercial beekeeper uh, in Canada. Uh, outstanding videos. I learned something every single day. Um, being a teacher myself, I found the information that he puts on his channel uh, very valuable. Um, I've learned a ton of beekeeping just uh, by watching him and watching what he does with all of his hives. I think he's up to, to 1,400, 1,500 hives and, and, and explains everything, every single thing that he does um, uh, to perfection. So I really, I really, uh, was inspired by him uh, to kind of to jump into this uh, beekeeping thing about two years ago. Uh, and another one that I follow uh, pretty closely uh, is a guy named Jim. He runs uh, Vino Farms in, uh, in the Boston area or the New England area. Uh, so those two, uh, those two men have kind of inspired me uh, to become a beekeeper. Uh, and so about two years ago, I was kind of traveling down this wormhole on YouTube and, and came across uh, two of these guys and, and got to watching some videos. And then I got to studying. Uh, then I took my first bee class at uh, Round Rock Honey uh, last year and then went to actually the uh, Texas Beekeepers Convention uh, last, uh, last March, I believe, uh, down in Brenham. So... Uh, with all the knowledge that I've accumulated over the past two years, which isn't a lot, uh, I finally decided this past fall that I wanted to uh, become a beekeeper myself. And, and I really wanted to document uh, the whole way through and uh, really see how this process uh, blossoms over time. And I wanted, I wanted to keep a video record of that. Uh, I'm going to make some mistakes. Actually, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. I don't know everything. Uh, but I'm going to try to do the best that I can and try to document the best I can. So uh, I hope that you follow me on this journey and I'll try to keep it updated as, as much as I can. Uh, but thank you and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Headed down to the land now. Uh, I got a couple last minute things I've got to get done uh, before those bees come tomorrow. Uh, so uh, for about the past two months, it feels like we've spent about 10 nights out there with burn piles and and clearing land um, but we finally got it pretty much close to done um, there's a there's a couple more things that that I'd like to get done before uh, the bee boxes come but they're coming tomorrow uh, so I don't have time to, to get everything done that I want to get done uh, so what I'm doing now I'm heading out I'm gonna put out my bee boxes I'm gonna do a little weed eating uh, around the place where I'm putting them I'm uh, gonna set up my four by fours uh, so that when we pick our bees up tomorrow and, and head back up from Navasota, all I have to do is head out there, drop my boxes off, put the nukes inside uh, their bee boxes in their new homes and shake my hands off and, and head to the house. Uh, so I want to I want to go ahead and get all that stuff done right now uh, so that I don't have to worry about it and uh, panic and freak out and try to do too much stuff. Uh, tomorrow I can just tomorrow I can drive up I can dump the bees in and and call it a day uh, it's gonna be a long day uh, driving down to Navasota is gonna be about two and a half hours uh, so most of my day is gonna be on the road uh, so whenever I get back home I just want to put those bees in get them set up in their new house and uh, call it a day okay so here we are uh, out at the farm uh, getting everything ready uh, for uh, the bees that are coming tomorrow uh, you can look back here kind of a little pond uh, if I flip the camera around. Here's the beehive here. Uh, I'm not finished setting up. I'll show you when I get done setting up. You can see here's our, our burn piles. Uh, we've had about five or six different nights of burn piles. You can see we've done a lot of clearing out uh, this property. I just finished weed eating a little bit. 
Uh, there's the pond again that they'll be able to uh, get water from, but that's where we're putting them. All right, today is the day. Uh, getting everything loaded up. We got a couple more things. Uh, got to get loaded up, get some boxes, put them in the truck, get ready to go. Uh, next time you see us, we will be uh, loading up some beehives. Stay tuned. got our bees we're ready to go next stop to land all right we're here down at the farm now it's time to get these girls ready to go in their new home I'm gonna light the smoke rug get my bee suit on and we'll get them going Not a minute too soon. See them, they're just raring for the roof. They want that house built. They've had enough of this song and dance.
boom. I'm about to have enough of me over here doing the side show. Well, that concludes putting together our beehives today. Drove all the way down to Navasota. You can see we got both of them. Got both nukes loaded up. We got the uh, DBU Patriots and the uh, the Texas Longhorns. And the radioactive. Um, shout out to uh, uh, Mama C, my mother, for uh, the paint jobs on the boxes. I think she did. She did a heck of a job. They'll be able to find their home uh, pretty easy, I bet. So. Uh, Gonna clean up a little bit, uh, but that concludes today. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.